I think my favorite part about doing what I do for a living is that I don't really have a job, which also means I don't have a boss. I could basically wake up in the morning and throw a dart at a map, and wherever the dart lands, that's where I go for the day. So on this episode of Where the Hell in the Country is Gabe at, we're in Tennessee, and that's because my good buddy Blake actually bought a new shop. He's the owner of Fitzgerald Performance out here in Tennessee. If you don't know who he is, he is basically the king of fifth gens. I like to say I'm one of the only people that give him competition. The dude undeniably has some of the baddest trucks in the country. I think we might be doing a little bit of truck shopping today. He has had the single cab that I've had my eye on since pretty much the day he bought it. So I'm probably gonna lowball him and hopefully he doesn't punch me in the face. Look. I 35 with a top down, quit to tell a hater they should get like me. Seem like everybody wanna be the boss, but it costs and these lames ain't shit like me. Drop a couple bands on the crypto fans, no my shit go. I ain't gotta tell him what it is. Tell him I'm a grown ass man, so you'll never fool me with the cap you be selling to the kids. Shorty, we the lords of the land, we wavy. Bad little mama tryna have a nigga baby. In a coupe seat, color like gravy. Children of the sun, why these niggas so shady? Boss talk with the wolf pack, I ain't never look back. Got a couple bands and I flip that. I be chillin' with my shorty, got the crib on karate, keep up, lil' baby, that's a kickback. Can't flex on a nigga living hate free, but he say real, but I know that nigga can't be. Pay a nigga up for the late fee, hit her from the side till I get home safely. Got three chains on me, neck strong, and a bitch checks long, and a bitch, I'm up now. And I make lil' baby feel good in the hood around you, shorty can't put a cup down. Glide through your hood like soap on a runway, no sleep, check a bag on a Sunday, get it in a moment. There's quite a few trucks in here. I'm gonna start with my favorite one. This is his first gen. It's what's left of a first gen. It's a frame, obviously, just like the one that I was building. And he's building an awfully large lift kit for it. That's the ride height of a coilover, so you could imagine. It is pretty clean though. I think this is the fuel. What, what, what is this? What? I'm not sure where you put in here. Red Bull holder. Yeah, that's definitely what it is. He definitely put like a hundred Red Bulls in here. And then when he's at the truck shows, he doesn't get tired. And then right here, he's got his slow drag truck i think he built this to be like murder ram but like i don't know nothing hits as hard as murder ram speaking of murder ram you guys only have two weeks left to get entered to win murder ram 2.0 our common rail swap second gen shorty. It's got a big turbo 5.9 Cummins with a 48 RE transmission, bolt tuned by Firepunk, 22 by 12 TIS wheels wrapped in NATO 420 Vs, custom headlights, tail lights, color match sport front end, and so much more. All you have to do to get entered is click the link above or in the description today to get entered. Super simple. And on February 10th, we'll be announcing the winner live on my Instagram, so stay tuned for that. Good luck to everybody, and enjoy the rest of the video. Is this a 5.9 or a 6.7? It's a sleeve 6.7. Big compound turbos. Hood stack. Gotta have the black job JTXs and Nitto 420Vs. If you don't have Nitto 420Vs, it's not a drag truck. This is a real drag truck though, so it has like weight reduction. Is this thing fast? Currently, no, it's not got a track on it. <laughs> Ain't this Peyton's truck? This is Peyton's truck. Peyton's sh He's the only person I know that buys Unlimited and rags it out. Yeah, I don't have the money. I love yet. you, Peyton, but clean it. Clean the truck. Clean the truck. Yeah, have it detailed Just before take... you drop it off. Yeah, he said I cleaned it last week. <laughs> 11,000 miles. Clean it. I know it's a work truck, but dang. Payton had that any level with the compound turbos that was like $200,000 truck. He traded it in for this. Maybe the fame was just too much for him. Yeah, he couldn't handle the cloud. No, it could not. Up to him in Walmart and asking for autographs. <laughs> Everyone probably saw the video of him blowing up the drive shaft. He did do that, yes. Yeah. Did you get that on? The I did. Videos? Get yeah. <laughs> video went pretty viral. Yeah, so. but so this truck shouldn't blow up the drive shaft. No, no, it's not got 14 inches of travel, so <laughs> this one will be fine. Customer truck with big old turf skis. Blown engine. Blown engine, big old turf skis. When you put the big turf skis, it blows up. Uh, oh, oh, hi, hi, hi. Is, hey, it, oh, is that corn? Go good paint on the back of the cab. Nice. Hmm. I like that. Does this... Horsepower, track up. All wheel drive, 1200 wheel horsepower that he just built. It blew up in two days. Oh. This one blew up on the test drive. He's oh. having a bad month. Trackhawk had warranty to an extent, but this one did not. It's got 150,000 miles. I mean. And then we have the second coolest fifth gen on the planet. Second. second. You mean that six speed that you can't drive? Oh! The six speed is driving in Pennsylvania somewhere. It's just I'm not driving it yet. You know what I have that you don't though? What do you have? Center console. Oh! I have it. It's just sitting in the corner of the shop. We got half a star light on. Oh, oh God. Is that so then like when you have a lady in the passenger seat, she can see the stars, but you can see the road? Yeah, we'll go with that. I'll tell you what I have that you don't. Not to flex on you, Gabe. Heck, look at that odometer. 500. 
What the f- And cost seats. <laughs> How many times has this truck been to the gas station? It's actually had like six tanks of diesel ran through it from idling. That makes sense. Yeah, you gotta yeah, make sure the battery doesn't show die. you see it at, it's sitting there idling, but it's never <laughs> driving. I've honestly put six tanks of diesel for 550 miles. <laughs> truck gets like seven miles a gallon. Makes sense. Because it just sits there and idles. <laughs> but besides that, it's my work truck, daily driver. Daily driver from here to the house, 0.5 miles away? Yeah, yep. I live like half a mile from yep. here. So. Yep. Find your keys. They're next to the Lambo keys. Look at this. Look I'm looking. You see this? Yep. Remote start. Yep. I, I have remote start in mine. I would not do that. It's manual. <laughs> Whoa. Nice you didn't even have to flip the switch underneath the steering wheel like me. This dude got some Bluetooth rock lights on this beach. Oh, it's so quiet. That looks like it's stock. It's stock? To the guy that roasted me for the welds on the stock exhaust from the factory, <laughs> you know, thank you, buddy. I really did that, didn't I? Air ride. Team shocks, striker lift, polish overlays, powder coat, everything. I still have it. Yep, there it is. Oh, it's tutored up now. God, I would drive it around everywhere just like that. That is so sick. I mean, I thought it was cooler like sideways, but then I started popping like a bag at every show. Yeah, it's not. So now not sway cool. bars are back on. We're yeah, good. now we can't go sideways. We don't have 30 questions at every show of, hey, do you know your sway bar is unhooked? <laughs> You'd be surprised who asked it. Menders, famous people, YouTubers. Hey, man, your sway bar is unhooked. You go up pretty high. Oh my God. Give it away. Give, yeah, give it away. Give it away. I'm not confident. How much? 200 grand? 200,000? You, sir. 199. 199. I'll take it. See, I would buy it, but it needs Alpha X headlights. You see, I talked to Danny, and Danny doesn't love me as much as Danny loves everybody else. I guess. Danny's still pretty upset about these. That's why that one's got factory headlights, because Danny doesn't love me. Danny, what the heck? All right, I'll buy this. I'll smash the headlights out. If you made a video of you smashing those, he would probably send you another set. That's probably, yeah, yeah, 100%. Danny's about that in the blue. Yep. When you have like a full air ride truck, you get bored after a year of owning it. After, so after three best suspension trophies, you're yeah. like, all right, now what do we do? <laughs> he ordered uh, another lift kit. Big cradle, right pad built it, polished overlays. This is like 10 to 14 inch. 10 to 14. So 20 to 24, got it. Yeah, yep. uh, boggers. Yeah. Please, that would be it. sick. I've already thought about it. If they made a 42 or a 40, I would do it. Oh my God. 44s are so big. If I could daily drive 58, you can daily drive 44s. I don't even drive it, let alone <laughs> Exactly, drive so it. you need 44. It's got 500 miles and it's a year old. I think the compressors are louder than the exhaust. So. <laughs> oh, there we go. Now I can hear the truck. Right, an idea for your truck when you uh, love me enough to drop it off for me to color match it. Yep. This. 100%. Shave tailgate. Yeah, this is the first place it's going when, when I get it back. I don't know. This, this all white stuff is growing on me. It, it is, but you remember my OG truck was two tone on the stuff. This is true. Because I either take the two-tone off or we paint it purple. Who has a purple fit gen? Nobody. Did I tell you about the third gen? Which one? It's kind of a secret one because it's a turd, but now it's not a turd. Mm. I've got a truck just like this. We're painting front to back, cow hood, new fenders, new bed. And we're painting it candy teal, so the whole truck will be like that color. First candy teal third gen in the world, to my knowledge, that's nice. painted, not wrapped. That should be at our show. That'd be pretty sick. March 4th. We have 25 trophies, a burnout competition, the dyno, show and shine, 26, 26 vendors. vendors. It's gonna be pretty big. Yeah. We just Couple need trucks. like the people behind the camera to show up. I will be there. I will bring at least one of my trucks that are all over the country right now. I gotta make some phone calls and pick one of them up. I'm bringing the picnic table. I thought you sold the picnic table. I only <laughs> talk to you like every couple weeks. You're getting me with these online ads. I thought Megan was going. I thought the picnic table was gone. I've just been lied to. Fourth gen, it's got a flight fab lift, half of a flight fab lift. What, what is this? this is a new, um, new thing? It is a uh, Harbor Freight lift. Half flight not fab, sponsored. half not sponsored. not sponsored. You paid full price. Mm -hmm. Full price on that that's, that's a flex right there. Oh, he's got some full send diesel parts. This is an ad for Kevin. Kevin, we're here for you. This is your moment to shine. Kevin's upper coolant pipe. Got his, uh, can't say what that is. Never mind. this is not an ad for you, Kevin. This really doesn't do anything for you. He also sent me a brake reservoir cover for it. I had that powdered. It's laying somewhere. Love it. Everything fit really good, though. I like the mirror. Jeffrey I'm vertically challenged. About. I wasn't going to say it like that. But yeah, yeah, I'm vertically challenged, so the mirror is nice because I can see what the motor looks like without, you know, like, yeah. this is my view right here. It's I'm going to do that on the monster truck so then people can let's, see that it has uh, triple turbos. Let's design one for a fifth gen. That'd they only make fifth. them for fourth gens right now. I've got 
two kitchens that need one, and you've got one that needs one. So we'll just make three. Okay, yeah. Sounds good. Three, and All then right. everyone in the world is gonna buy one too. Yep, and yes. then I can retire. Yeah, yep. I'm done too. For people who don't know, this is actually a six-speed truck. What? You can kind of see in there. No can't open way. The front door I didn't even right. know that. Look, look, for all the bros. I know you love this crap. Oh my god. Yeah. Whoa, that had four shooting stars in it. Six? Don't, Six? Don't, don't put me down like oh that. Oh my god. This Holy. Is, this is where you take the lane and then they tell you they don't like you no more. <laughs> so I had these actually out of my dually from where it was wrecked and yep. somebody hit me because the semi pulled out in front of me. Hey, when that happens. I don't know how somebody pulls out in front of me and I rear end them, but I did. Yep. Flat <laughs> five, rear four link kit. I've got to recoat the frame and stuff, man. Yeah, these, gotta, uh, these fortunes don't hold up like a fetch in. Mm -mm. I forgot how nice it was to have newer trucks. Yes. So well, this, I, my daddy kind of cut me off, so I can't really have any more yeah, new trucks. Mine's taking one of my Lambos, and I'm pretty pissed about it. Well, he look. said he'd get me a new one next year. Okay. He only took the purple one. I have a, I have a green one. So. <laughs> Ling Longs. No, that's the best tire I ever made, <laughs> man. You see that tread? High quality H2O right there. Bro. I think I had those when I was like 16. I did so many burnouts that they were gone in like five days because I hated them so much. Just drive on them and they'd be gone in five days. <laughs> <laughs> There's like a list of like bad tires and it goes RBP, Venom, anything else. Yeah. Anything else is above. Can't say much about Venom. We saw a lot of Venom. <laughs> Love them. Love them. Best tires ever made. I actually, I do really like them. Not gonna lie. It's just on my Joe truck, so I can't really talk too much. Yeah, about I, they were on that, uh, the black truck that I had, the black single cab. Oh, you don't remember? Dude, I had like a 475 know. single, and it just like, what? Show the clip. One of the 12 second guns that I had. Well, I'm gonna be honest, like, when I see a second gen, I tune out. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Sorry, Even the pink one outside? That one's kind of cool. You <laughs> caught me there. It's big, it's cool. I wonder if it starts. Have you started it lately? <laughs> Who's G-Wagon? Uh, it's the local dentist. Oh, uh, that was your mom's. <laughs> Mom ain't that him. She does have Mercedes, it's out back though. No. <laughs> you know this thing is actually sold? Uh, it's some kid from Colorado. What you supposed to say? Full sign. Full sign. This is his boot spot. But does my GFP sit over there somewhere? You've got a GFP right there. No way. Somewhere. Somewhere. <laughs> the rain hasn't got rid of it, but it's over there somewhere. <laughs> So if you guys don't know, this is Nick's truck. He actually sold this truck, and the guy is supposed to be coming this weekend to come pick it up. From here, I think. This thing's kind of fancy. I like it. It was cool while it lasted. It sold. Abigail, you wear cool. Now you sold it. You should see the new one. What's, what's it? I can't Diesel? tell you. <laughs> yeah. I thought she bought your old truck. Yeah, she's got that too. Yeah. I mean, it's okay, I guess. Must be nice to have money. Yeah. This ain't deleted. No. Nope. <laughs> but it is on 28th and 37th. This one sold already? It might be sold. Yeah, yeah. I would be kind of sad. I like the. He one. offered me 180 and I wanted 200, so I was like, oh, like, uh, nah, I'm just kidding. This is the right thing. <laughs> well, for everyone that believes, like, oh, he don't use this thing. This is a work, bro. Yeah, that, that's pretty nasty. Only 28 you're going to see either. That thing is freaking disgusting. I said the white one was the second coolest fifth gen because that's the first. Dude, this thing is so nasty. I'm going to say it. I need me a flatbed on something. He's got his own like private road right here. The shop is in like the best spot and it is a perfect location for a really cool truck show. If you're not doing anything March 4th, come out. It's gonna be a good time. If there's one show that you are not gonna wanna miss this year, it's definitely gonna be the show at Fitzgerald's performance. I heard Bryce Johnson is going to do a four wheel drive burnout and blow all four tires off at Fourth Gen. <laughs> Never had a flatbed, you know my pain. I was just saying I wanted one. You don't. I don't want one. You don't lose all your luxuries. <laughs> and you, you have to anything in the bed. That <laughs> happens. Yeah, where do you put all the bitches? Like do you you can't throw them in the bed anymore. I mean this is for when you got heifers. Got straps. Oh you strap them down. And you got some rags, clean them up. <laughs> Right Seeing all these fit gens all day reminded me that I actually own one. So I figured I'd give you guys a little update. Full Sun Diesel has been working on my fit gen for what feels like 17 years now. That's only because I really, really miss the thing. We have been trying to G56 swap the first fit gen ever. It's never been done before. And I guess people don't really understand because nobody has ever done it before. 
There's a lot that goes into it. You can't just like Google how to G56 while a fit gen. Nobody knows. Swapping it wasn't really the hard part, but getting all of the controls inside the truck, like the auto start, the cruise control, everything to work flawlessly, that was the hard part. Good news, it's basically done. At the same time that I'm filming this video right now, Kevin from Full Sun Diesel is actually driving my G56 Bob Fifth Gen all the way to New Jersey to put some miles on it, make sure there's no bugs that have to be worked out. He doesn't want me to take it home and halfway driving it back to Chicago, I realize X, Y, and Z is wrong with it. He's just quadruple checking that everything is 110% perfect before I come and pick the truck up. Stay tuned, you guys will be seeing a video of me taking delivery of the truck very, very soon. I don't know who's more excited, me or the whole internet for this reveal. Thank you guys for watching, have a good night. Kind of small turbo. Dude, it almost rolled away.